Good morning. Happy, happy Friday. I had to think about what day this was. I hope you're having a great, great, great morning today. Um, I've been already up. I've been editing. I've already had my um, Bay Hill smoothie. And let me just say this. Bring your charger, because it's supposed to do 30 blends. No. I should have brought my charger because my bay hoe is already on red. Anyway, I'm Barika, if you don't know. I'm one of the three cups to tears. And I'm so happy that you came. If this is your first time, I want to say welcome. Please do not let it be your last time. You may have come as a guest, but you will certainly leave as a friend. So make sure that you hit that subscription button. Hit the little bell notification. So you're always notified every time we come out with a new video. And at the end of this, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button because it lets me know and it also lets YouTube know and my family know that you like this kind of content. So it encourages us. We want to say thank you. Alrighty, now that we got that, it is fit for Disney. And I'll, no, I'm not at home, but that doesn't mean I'm still not trying to get fit. So let's get to it. You know what I always say, grab your favorite snack, healthy snack, <laughs> get comfy, and let's talk fit for Disney. Okay, so I am currently outside of the hotel and this is our second morning waking up here. Um, and yesterday I worked out in my room and I really enjoyed that. And then um, today I wanted to get up and make sure that I get a workout in. It's a little cool. Um, I wanted to work outside with the sun just because yesterday I did in-room workout with my fitness video. But I, if I'm right, I used to work at a Marriott too. So I don't know that this will be true. But if I am right, I think this property, you can walk around the outside of the building and get some exercise in. So that's what I'm attempting to do right now, to walk the circumference of the building a couple of times and this is a huge property. So, yeah, I'm excited about that. Okay, so that's really what we're gonna be talking about. Now, sometimes when we go on vacation, now, unless you're going to a place like Walt Disney World, then you really don't need to work out when you're on a trip like that because the parks are so big, the resort is so big, you literally will be walking <laughs> so many miles a day just walking around the property walking from the resort to the monorail from the monorail to disney springs or throughout the park as you're going through one of the four parks you're going to be doing a lot of walking it's fun to wear a fitbit on those type of vacations because you will be amazed <laughs> at how many steps you will get when you walk, okay? So that's pretty cool in that aspect. But on trips like this, they can become a little sedentary where you're not really exercising like you're trying to. So, oh no, and they have this tarped off. It looks like at some point you might have been able to walk around it, but you're not. 
so that's okay i'm not gonna let that stop me i'll just walk to the back and walk around um the front and keep doing that um so yeah on these trips it can be a little sedentary and then you're out and you're eating and you're not getting a lot of fitness in so you really have to be intentional about your fitness especially if you're going to be a little bit lax on your eating now i want to say yesterday i didn't do too bad because we went to lola's i had the chicken and the waffle i was so happy that the chicken was a thin chicken boneless skinless chicken breast it was not breaded and i think it was probably more pan seared than it was actually fried so that was good and then i did have the waffle so the waffle was bread but when we went to our family's house um for my husband's aunt and uncle's house uh, they cooked some hot links i had some hot links but i skipped the bread because i knew i already had the bread plus i had a little bit of bread yesterday so i ate the hot links a big huge salad some mango and that was there that there then when we got over to my brother and sister's house they did order pizza and i knew they were gonna have pizza that's another reason why i declined the bread at my aunt and uncle's house so i had some two pieces of pizza but this was early enough to where um i didn't eat late because we got over there we got there about seven so i want to say we ate about seven no later than 7 30. once i ate the one time i didn't go back to get uh, another plate but they did have some little mini bunt cakes and i had two of those and they were delicious so with that being said today i'm really going to try to go with no bread products just because i feel like i have consumed enough bread um so i'm not gonna do any bread products today just straight meat vegetables that's my goal today um so yeah so since i'm doing that you have ways okay even in the midst of covid if maybe you don't want to go into the exercise room because i'm like that me and exercise rooms don't really get along because of my immune system and then with all of this covid being heightened i don't want to um you know compromise myself so but i am taking all of my supplements while i'm here making sure to drink lots of orange juice um and I probably could up it a little bit on the water but we drank a lot of water at the restaurant yesterday but just not throughout the day which is another thing do not forget your water bottle i did not bring my water bottle i know in order for me to be successful with water i normally do well with water <laughs> bottles so i can keep refilling it but i didn't do that this time so that was up my bad on my part but you learn with every trip when I go to Disney, I'll definitely be bringing my water bottle because I know I always bring a water bottle when I go to Disney. But all that matters is I'm taking some steps to do what I need to do. So I'm not gonna bore you, but that is my encouragement for Fit for Disney to make sure that you um, do what you need to do to get your fitness in. You don't have to skip it just because you're on vacation. You don't have to eat lousy just because you're on vacation. Yes, indulge, enjoy yourself. Eat some of the things that you can really enjoy eating, but make sure that you get some healthy things in because it really, really helps. And it'll make you feel a whole bunch better when you come home and you didn't gain a thousand pounds. Maybe you didn't lose, but maybe you didn't go up any, maybe you just stayed the same or even better. If you did lose, then you're great okay now this thought just came to my mind because you know some of the best vacations i love when i'm trying to eat healthy are the disney cruises <laughs> because they just have so many wonderful wonderful options of healthy foods to eat and then back in the day when we did have buffets i like that too because you have your salad option you have your vegetable option you got your protein and it's easy to make sure you get those things in but you know you just gotta make it a point to put yourself first and you always have to remember nothing tastes better than thin feels 
nothing tastes better than thin feels okay and it's not saying you gotta be a skinny mini but we do want to be healthy and you really want to be getting your fitness in now more than ever because exercising boosts your immune system and if you want to stay healthy and well during covid you got to make sure that you're putting in the right things that you're making sure you exercise you boost your immune system if you don't take supplements research them if you don't use essential oils research them i'm not making medical claims i'm just talking about some things that could help you um so yeah jakey's doing good if anybody's concerned about prince jakey he is doing really good having fun with his dog sitter they are enjoying themselves um they are having a ball i'm glad about that so thank you for tuning in to this fit for disney but i wanted to stay faithful of course i'm not getting an opportunity to weigh myself because i'm not at home but i will make sure that i update you but i wanted to talk about this topic because it's so very very important um and then i know everybody's this is the last thing i am going to say i know everybody's bummed out about thanksgiving and not being able to have all of the festivities that we normally have but look you don't have to necessarily gather you can orchestra a nice outdoor family walk get your family together you guys can wear your mask you can socially distance and everybody can get fit okay and enjoy some conversation um maybe you know you can hear somebody if they're ahead of you and you're not all up on them you can still have those conversations um so just think about it because there are ways that you can uh, still have fun with your family or download the homeroom app i don't know if you are familiar with the homeroom app but it's an app where you can play games online with your family you can do karaoke i don't know what the max is for everybody being in a game room but it's really fun Coverson and I had a super fun date with some of our friends on the app. Um, and it was fun. We had a really great time. We only did it one time and we probably need to do it again. But it was really fun. Alrighty. So, um, so we got to get that going again. Because it was super fun. So there's just ways. You can hang out with people on chat rooms there's all kind of different little things you can do so just research it okay so i will see you in a little bit later probably when it's time for breakfast we are going to go out to breakfast with some of our family and i am going to drive take that drive to, it's going to be with my brother and sister so i'm going to take that drive over that way because i didn't get to do it yesterday I did drive around in Arizona and that was amazing. But by the time we did end up getting to my brother and sister house, it was really late. So I just let Coberson drive because I already drove so much that day. Alrighty. I thought I heard a noise. See you in a little bit. Thanks for tuning in to another Fit for Disney. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell notification and set it to always. And hit like if you like this video. Remember, the sweet life is the right life. And we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.